Hey everybody, welcome back to the Family Mart Podcast. I'm Jay. And I'm Merz. And I'm Germ. Welcome back. Welcome back. back. <laughs> Fumbled through it. It's all good. We are here today, gathered without Wizenthal. My boy is uh, out with the measles. Yeah, he's got in, measles, man. In H-Town. Man, it's like really spreading right now. Yeah, and he had to, because cause he had to go to to Hawaii, because his insurance is only in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. That, isn't yeah. that weird? He His uh, ID had a rainbow on it. Yeah. So he had to go to Hawaii Dang! specifically. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get demonetized so fast, bro. It's all, good. It's all good. Uh, so hope he's doing well. It looks like he's having a grand old time out there hiking, yep. eating, yeah. meeting people, clogging the toilet. Yeah. Uh, so looks fun. Running. Running. Yeah, bro. he's out there yeah. running like Me crazy. Me and Jerem were saying, bro's doing a casual eight. Yeah. Chilling, bro. bro. Easy, casual man. eight, eight minute mile pace. Yeah, 64 if you multiply. Dude, it's nasty with it. That's how long it takes to run eight miles. That's so crazy. An bro. hour and four minutes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, man. You got you have to listen to a podcast. Yeah, I mean that's I'm like sorry, a, that's like a podcast link. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm not gonna yeah. I'm not running that listening like cars pass. I mean it might be different in Hawaii because you can like listen to birds sing and all that. The yeah. ocean. You can listen to the brothers talk. The yeah. vibes are just different, bro. The vibes are different. Uh, yeah. real quick, I want to shout out the new patrons. Oh, let's get it. Thanks for signing up. We got Joanne, V, Karen, Ronan, Thunder Perfect Mind, Woo, Miss Lynn. Welcome. Thunder Perfect Mind is fire. And I just, I'm not bad for peeking the mic, but. God. Thanks for joining the Patreon, guys. If you guys want to be called out in the beginning of the show, make sure you guys sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Family Pod. We got a whole bunch of bonus episodes, bonus content that you can skim through. And the hottest Discord in the game. Hottest yep. Discord in the game, wearing my chain. It's really been popping in there lately. A lot of people from the PNW yeah. chiming oh, yeah. in, getting their uh, weather talk and talking about it's raining all the time. Yeah. Mm. So. Uh, that's been really cool to see on the cord popping. Um, yeah, so I got a ticket like the other day. <laughs> you got it. Oh yeah, I you got, got a ticket, but you never speed. So tell us what happened. Yeah, bro. what really happened, man? <laughs> I was going to work. Yeah, and it's like nine a.m. Yeah, and like I'm, like I've been saying, I've been really on time going to work lately. So today I was running a little bit late. I was like, fuck, I don't want this to end my streak. So I leave my neighborhood. I hit the right to make a shortcut, or not shortcut, a faster way than I normally go. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, I just started zooming because I thought it was clear. Yeah. In my, at the end of my, my, what my vision could see, I saw cop lights on. They pulled someone over. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, slow down already. Mm-hmm. At the very same moment I thought slow down, the bike cop pulled over. Oh, it was a bike cop? The, yeah, on oh, the right. Man. It's hard to spot those guys. Man, yeah, he, man. he didn't even make the... Pow, pow. He just did a... <laughs> oh, shoot. He just did a... Blues Clues. Bro, he didn't do nothing. <laughs> I just saw the lights in the back. Back yeah. the Blues Clues, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get on the... On the- he didn't on the megaphone. Pull over. Pull over now. Oh, oh, the- pull over now. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. I, so I, I pulled over. He didn't even... You know, like sometimes they're like, you know why I'm pulling over you, pulling you over today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's just like, I'm pulling you over today. He was like over it already. He's like, I'm pulling you over today because you're doing this, driving this fast in this zone. And this is how I know that this area is a trap because he had to explain to me how the road work. <laughs> and he said, it's 25 here. After, after that light, it changes to 35. No change in the road. It yeah. changes to 35. Mm-hmm. Then after the next light, it changes to 45. I was like, bro. are there speed limit signs that indicate that they are? But I, okay. that like, regardless, I was speeding. I'm not trying yeah, to say yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. in the right or they Cause, clocked me. Wrong. Cause didn't they like do some, some construction work to it? It's like super different. That's why you got pulled over. Yeah, it is different from mm-hmm. what it was, but Merz already knows the area. And right. I think he can already tell how I messed up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. hundred percent. Uh, but yeah, they, they got me, uh, speeding. I tried to check how much it was. It's not up there yet, but. It sucks, bro. They pulled me over. I was later than I was going to be anyway, so it's not worth speeding. Just drive safe. Did, yeah. Did you say already, like, my bad, did you say already how fast you were going compared to the speed limit? Uh, I'll Can we talk it. about that? Be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest, bro. On the ticket, right, he 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 was cool with me, so he cited me that I was in the, thir- that 
I was in the 35 or however they do it on the ticket. Mm. Shout out to all, uh, all the cops. All the coppers. Uh, shout out 12. But <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, shout out 12. Maybe they reduced my ticket. Yeah. And then, <laughs> but I'm actually doing 52 and a 25. So I doubled that. <laughs> Damn, you went 52 and a 25? I didn't know. I truly didn't know. I thought, okay, look, I, in my mind, I thought I was on a 35. Still speeding, yeah, yes. right. <laughs> still speeding, so crazy. But I thought I was on the thirty-five, and I thought I was only going forty-five. Oh yeah, you do got that the Japanese, American, and kilometers all next to yeah, each man. other. Yeah, so I thought I was going uh, forty-five, but you know, you big toe it a little bit and you go a little bit, a little bit faster. Sorry, yeah. got my car is fast. So he gave you a thirty-five over twenty-five. Yeah, like it says, like. Zone 25, but then cited at 35. So I don't know what the difference is if someone can explain the terminology yeah. and how that breaks a ticket, but maybe it gets me off of reckless driving. It, yeah, it, sure. it, it, yeah, it gets you off of, I believe, reckless driving um, because if you go over 10, it's reckless driving, I believe. Shit. Over yeah. 10? It's reckless. Eh? Yeah, way. if you go over, I think it's over 10. Like one one mile over 10, it's uh, it could be reckless driving. So if you go... 10 over the speed limit. I think, hold on. I'm sorry. If you go one over 10 miles, I'm 11 this. over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm hella confused because I thought thir- everything after 30 was reckless driving. Nah, Th- it's like. Because I got, I got pulled over going 90 in a 65 and I didn't get fined for reckless driving. I just got fined for speeding. Yeah, because well, he probably reduced your thing. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because yeah. if they didn't see you doing no wrong, like there was no one around me. Right, I've gotten pulled over for speeding before, but uh, it was on a freeway, so I think it was different. Also, no one was around me at the time too. But yeah, uh, yeah. Hopefully, it doesn't turn into reckless driving. Aren't, isn't there a way, like at least out here, that you you turn your ticket in somewhere and they like reduce it to a parking or? Yeah, you just get yeah. a lawyer. A uh, lawyer. No, nah, you can you can go to um. I just went to the courthouse. And then you go to like the computers. Oh, and you, like just, you don't even have to speak to you, nobody. You gotta, you gotta just, bro. The line is so long though. Yeah, you but, gotta go over there, and then you gotta just give them the money, and then they're like, all right, they give them like two or three hundred bucks, and then they'll put it, they'll uh, turn it into a parking ticket fee. That's more expensive than lawyer the up. speeding ticket. <clears throat> I think if you just go pay a lawyer like the their fee, they'll yeah. go and, mm-hmm. they'll go and wipe it out, wipe that shit. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah, just just talk to. Anyone listening that's in Vegas and as a, uh, a lawyer or like an attorney, a traffic attorney, let us know in the comments yeah, so Jay can just give you his ticket and yeah. then you could he'll give you the hundred dollar fee. Are you trying to do it pro bono? Because what they Fire. do is they take everybody they they take everybody's speeding tickets and they go to the court like they send their guy that oh. works for him. They go to the court and then they just they just like yo bulk order yeah bulk order wipe wipe it down wipe it down wipe All it right. down. That's crazy. I didn't yeah. know that's how it worked. Yeah. Cool. So you just pay the attorney fee. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got? Ha, have you got a ticket lately? Or, well, no, of course not. All right, just checking because there's <laughs> ways. Yeah, I want to know these secrets. So this is this is probably why, um, having a CCW, a concealed weapons license, can come in handy, <laughs> because I've besides gotten, getting canes, besides getting canes on the discount, I've gotten out of like eight speeding tickets, seven speeding tickets, uh. and the reason is. It's what they do. It's part of like the, the thing the cops do. Uh, but this is what my instructor told me too. He's like, if you get pulled over for a speeding ticket, just present your ID and present your uh, your CCW. And if you have your gun on you, tell them exactly where it is at that time. They're still going to like get on you and be like, yo, you were doing this. And it's yeah. like. They got to let you know. Yeah, they got to let you know. And then you tell them like, yo, my, you know, just be nice for them. You, don't yeah. be a dick. You be like, man, my fault, man. I just honestly wasn't paying attention, man. You know how it is. Um. And then you know they'll go to their car. They'll they'll make sure your 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 uh, CCW is still up to date. Uh, they'll, they'll they could check every past time you got pulled over, or whatever. Yeah. Look at your prior. Make sure you ain't got no warrants. And they come back to you and they say, "All right, man, we should give you a warning." What like how fast were you going? I was only going the the few times that I have gone pulled over, I've only been going about ten miles over. Yeah, that's not maybe, bad. Maybe twelve miles over. Because they got like I said, I got pulled over going over. I was going 90 and a 65, and I did the whole CCW thing. I still got ready. Going 90 and 65? Yeah, Whose I car know. were you using? 
Using dad's car. Bruh. <laughs> Not even using yours. Yeah. That's crazy. I was with dad in the car. Dad made me late to an appointment, so I just I was just speeding. That's crazy. Yeah. I was hella mad. <laughs> hmm. I'm like, now I'm even more late. I think I think I like to push the limits. Like I try to see what you can get away with. Yeah. So I've definitely driven by cops going like eight eight over mm-hmm. and just kind of seeing like all right, so eight is cool. Yeah. But I, I think 10 is the threshold. 10 is the threshold. If you go over 10, they're, they're going to pull you over. Yeah. Yeah. But they like to, they'll reduce you to the 10 mm. so that way you don't get hit with the, the extra bullshit. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Unless you're a dick to them or unless yeah. you, you got, they look at your record, you got hella speeding tickets, yeah. then it's like a different story. For like a speeding ticket, I don't see any room for there to even be like, like it happens so fast. There's not really a time to be a dick to them. Yeah. Unless yeah. they immediately walk up and I'm just like, yo, what the, what the F, bro? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? Yeah. I mean, it happens to the best of us. Yeah. You know, uh, I just think, I think the police officer's um, approach to usually dictates how somebody's going to act to him. Yeah. How do you guys, um when you guys get pulled over, what do you guys do? You guys rolling down the windows? You guys throwing the keys on the dash? Like, what y'all doing? Keys on the dash. I I don't throw the keys on it. I know for for motorcycle cops or uh for motorcycles when you get pulled over they tell you to turn your car off and either hand them the keys or throw the keys on the dash. Is it because you could just speed off? Yeah, because you could just dip off. That's kind of sad. That's crazy because motorcycle cops those bikes are fast. Yeah, those they're are, gonna catch they're up. Zooming. They're gonna yeah, catch up. But if you if you don't get, I'm talking about if you're a motorcycle driver and you get pulled over. Oh yeah, they yeah, tell you, you got, to, you're right. There yeah. we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, cop ain't gonna take his. He's not gonna turn off his bike. <laughs> like yeah, just turn off his bike. He turns his off. Yeah. yeah, you're definitely gonna get uh, left. But yeah. uh, I definitely immediately put the window down so I don't have to move my hand. And bro, hands are ten and two, and I'm not budging or yeah. or moving without communicating what I'm about to move. Yeah, yeah. So I I pretty much do the same thing. Uh, I take it another level though. I drop my glove compartment already. I don't take anything mm-hmm. out. I just drop my glove compartment. I have my ID and my CCW and my my in between my fingers like a cigarette. <laughs> I put my uh, things up here and I roll all four windows down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. That's what I do. I I put all four windows down. Throw my keys on the dash. Throw my uh, driver's license or my wallet on the dash. Throw my phone on the dash too. Yeah, all windows down. I didn't think Hands about like the this. all windows down. Hands oh. on the steering wheel, like yeah. I keep my wrist. Yeah, yeah, oh. I'm, just like this, yeah. I'm just like this, so he sees I'm, I'm not like doing this. Anything. What? Because what does it look like if I'm? I could, bro. I had to make grippy on. What does that look? like? I'm nervous. It could be like. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah. I just want to. I just want to put. I just want to erase any threat in his mind yeah, man. ASAP. There's yeah. too many of these like police shootings that happen. Yeah. Um, the biggest one that that really scared me was the. I think his name was Fernando or something. Mm. I can't remember the dude's name, but uh, he was a passenger. And then the cop, I think the cop just got scared and he fired off on the dude. What the heck? Yeah, he went to breach for his wallet or something. Yeah. And he fired off on the dude. So, like, to me, I want to have everything out already. And, like I said, I have the glove compartment drop because even that action, dropping the glove compartment, yo, let me see your driver's registration. That's kind of like. They have to, like, watch. Yeah. So, and plus, I've either, either, when they see all four windows roll down, they're either thinking, man, this dude. Hella got pulled over so many times. Or they just be <laughs> like, he's courteous, right? So, yeah, that's what I do. And I, I suggest, if you're listening to this, do that. Yeah, yeah the man. window's down. Do that. that. That's, a, that's a smart. You could get uh, off. Yeah. You could probably get off with a lot. And just be mad yeah. cool with the cops, Just be man. mad cool. Yeah, be mad cool with them. Yeah. Why we not? all know there's some, there's some like, you know, cops who are just assholes. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I, just play it cool, man. I was nervous. And then uh, as he got closer to the car, walk, as he was walking closer to the car. I saw in the mirror. I was like, oh, it's a brother man. It's a brother oh, man. Yeah. I'm off. I'm, I'm getting I'm, off. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but he still wrote it. Yeah. Shout out Officer Charles. Yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> C. Harles. Yeah. <laughs> I, dropped the, uh, I dropped the glove compartment and expecting to see immediately see my registration. Yeah. Bro, it was just like, uh, dog papers like from the vet and everything. I was Receipts. like, oh, my fault. Yeah, yeah uh, 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 oil change, <laughs> yeah. Walmart joints. Yeah. Uh, yeah, smog, the blue paper. Yeah. <laughs> now I tell him I grab the whole joint. Oh, yeah. I grab all of it and I tell him, yo, I'm gonna have to sift through this for a little bit. Yeah. He's like, no, I don't know. I was like, all right, cool. But, Buying time. <laughs> yo, the CCW. I know you got yours, man. Yeah. Like you should. Yep. You should. Even if you don't have your gun on you. Just oh yeah. yeah present yeah. it, bro. Present it. I think you have to. 
Yeah. Oh, really? You have to, yeah. yeah. Even if you don't have it, it on you? Yeah, it's best because if they see... If they see when they go back to the car looking at the computer, they see that you have a CCW, then they're gonna be like, Why is this like, why didn't he tell me? Why didn't he tell me? Yeah, yeah. it's just weird, it just kind of raises yeah. a red flag, oh, okay. you know? Yeah, okay, so, so the, the scariest step one, one get a gun, step one, yeah. get a gun and get a CCW. All right. yeah. If you're allowed in the state to do it, I know, like in California, New York, you guys have really strict gun <laughs> laws, so you're pretty much like you shouldn't have a gun on you regardless if you're driving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when y'all get pulled over, just pray. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you might, pray, man. You might not get out of that one. But uh, if you're in Vegas, get a CCW. Guarantee, man, you're going to get out of it. Yeah. Nine times nine time out of tens. <laughs> Where's it's called? Yo. Nine times out of tens? <laughs> nine nine times out of tens. <laughs> nine times out of ten, you're going to get out, man. Sick. Yeah. yeah. Or you give him a BJ. <laughs> would you? Would, would you? Would I give a cop would a you, BJ to get out of a ticket? Would you, if you felt that he was sexually innuending fellatio to get out of a ticket are you thinking about it how much is the ticket it's not a speeding ticket it's a god dang i don't know what's more expensive than that <laughs> oh, it's like a, a hit and run a hit and run yeah like jail Bro, time a hit and run yeah 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 and he said fellatio or fellatio or i'm writing this or, or two bands and 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 it's friday and you got to stay in jail for, till monday <laughs> Damn, <laughs> fellatio. If I was single, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> if you're a single, it changes the game. Huh? Of course. Yeah, buddy. man. I'm like an S a D if I got a girl. <laughs> That's crazy. You S a D if you got a girl? I just, man. First of all, I would. <laughs> first of all, I would never S a D. But I feel like the best time to do it is when you got a girl. That way, you can go home and just be like, I'm not gay. Nah, you know nah I know nah, I'm not, man. I'm just I know saying, I'm like, not. yeah, you can go back home and then you know, just prove to yourself that you're not gay. You just gotta, you know, I don't have to prove pound, myself. You can pound town. No, I don't, you don't have, have to prove, to myself, prove yourself, man. but you, you I'm would, trying to get out of this stage. Like, like what I'm trying to say yeah. is, you can pound town the trauma away <laughs> instead of just going home. Like, oh, I just suck the dick, man. Get out of this. I'm not even gonna run, cry. Bro. Instead, you came home, cry. you hit and run, and you cheated. That's crazy. Yeah. That's yeah, a crazy but what, combo. You, you guys don't think your girls wouldn't like... That dude's going to jail. Oh, if yeah. If he did that, if he cheated, he's <laughs> going to jail. He's not, he's not going to... But you guys don't think your girls would understand and be like, ah, oh, I get it. That's fine. They knew you wouldn't do it. We're all straight here. I'm going to put myself, I'm gonna put myself in, in like my girl's shoes, and if my man did that, I'm, he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> he's gay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm leaving. Speak, yeah, I'll speak on Jeff's behalf. <laughs> yeah. She would... She would be so upset if she knew I did it. She'd rather me do the time, for sure. Yeah, you should do the time. <laughs> and toughen up that way. Yeah. Nah, for the bit, though. Um, for the bit. I for the it. bit? For the bit, I do it. Oh, yeah, but for the bit, <laughs> in of real course. Life, in real life, I'm probably going to, I'm probably since I got cameras in my car, I'm probably going to take his ass to court and be like, yo. <laughs> 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 he bribed the fuck out of me. This dude wanted me to BJ him up for two racks. <laughs> And free jail time, like yo, you you pass go collect two thousand. Dude, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> skip jail, yo, man. It's a chance card. Yo, watch, yeah, yeah, watch the next Monopoly we play. That's gonna be in the cars, bro. Yo, for real. We gotta just write that in one. Like, <laughs> Merz is like, Merz gets a car. You gotta suck Jay's dick to get out of jail. <laughs> it's like, or give him two racks. Only got two five hundred dollar bills. <laughs> you you start off with a fifteen. You gotta be up big to to, make, to write that off. Yo, I gotta give out all my properties, bro. Let me stay in jail. <laughs> Yo, I'll stay in jail the whole game. The whole game, bro. <laughs> I'm not sucking jail. <laughs> Forget that, dude. Yeah, man. Oh, just man. uh just uh follow your heart when you get pulled over, man. <laughs> Don't do it. Nah, yeah. but you heard about that dude that did that, right? What? Huh? Who? It's cop in um Dallas, I think. I forgot his name. But he was going around pulling over like fem- like oh, I heard about female this. drivers. Oh, man. And he would up. he would be like, yo, I'm gonna take and a lot of them were like they were either like drug addicts or whatever. Yeah, he would target like like visit like I guess like judging, but like he would target those who I guess were struggling a bit. Yeah. And like really like putting the um like using the power. Yeah. He's like, yo, it's either gonna be this, you're gonna be even more broke, or like you could let me hit. <laughs> I'm not even trying to laugh at that. My bad. But like, he, it's, it's funny. Well, I, I laugh because it's like really uncomfortable. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> but he, he would 
basically raped these girls. And there was like 20, 20 to 30 counts of this shit. Bro, it was he, disgusting. He, yeah, he's serving like 600 or something years in prison. Oh, yeah. Get he's him a out cop. Here. Yeah. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I remember they had like the body cam footage. Yeah. Do people not review these things or is it there's just too much footy for people to like skim through? I think they only pull them out. They only pull them up when something's going down. Yeah, when there's an incident, when there's yeah. like a write up probably. Yeah. So like, because uh, I know like my boy, um, sometimes he'll like, we'll be talking, he'll be like, yo, man, I had this crazy like incident, whatever. And then he'll pull up on his phone. He'll pull mm. it up on his phone. It's like a GoPro low key. Mm. Yeah. So. And the and the uh, video quality is pretty nice. Yeah, facts. It's pretty yeah, decent. Yeah. It's like 4K. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Got a big server up in the, the office of 12. Yeah. yeah. And it's funny, though, because like every time they run, you can hear like everything moving. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. Get back here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was a pause, yo. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. That's how you be hitting. That's gonna be hitting that's Officer a, Charles, bro. That was an ayo, dude, bro. That was an ayo, man. Yo, uh, what uh, we got, man? Into in the lighter news, Mers yes. took Uncle Val, y'all's dad. dad. There we go to see Journey. Yeah. Yes, sir, bro. Yes, sir. That is so sick. It is, man. Well, my dad. So this year. I made it one of my goals. Like, I want to go take my dad to see, like, a, one of his, like, favorite bands. Nice. Right? Yeah. And so, there was, like, a couple coming into town. Foreigner was coming into town. Um, ACDC was coming into town. Uh, Rolling Stone. I wanted to go see Rolling Stones at Allegiant. So, there was, like, a bunch. But it was, like, it was either, like, later on in the year or the Allegiant one was crazy. It's mad expensive to get tickets to that, right? But then he was like, yo, Journey's pulling up. Oh, he told you. Yeah, he's like, Journey's pulling up. Mm -hmm. And I was like, word? Because I fuck with Journey heavy too, yeah. you know, for multiple reasons. Not not only just because their music's dope, but, but their lead singer, Arnell, yeah. he's Filipino yeah, and he you got look, opportunity. You kind of look like Arnell. Kind of look like him right now. That's why I'm rocking yeah. the hair now. Yep. <laughs> but uh, I was waiting and waiting for the tickets were expensive. They were like 200 a pop. Yeah. So I hit hit the plug up like a week before. was like, yo, you got you got any tickets for the thing? He said his his dude ghosted him. So like every single day I was on Game Time app mm. looking to see the joints drop. And they went from like two hundred to one fifty to one thirteen. And then two days before they dropped to like seventy. Oh my. Ooh. So the app really works. Yeah, yeah. You just oh, keep checking. Smart. So when they dropped to seventy, I hit up every single reseller. Uh -huh. Yeah, to see which had the cheapest ones. Damn. So I got them at the cheapest price. And then I hit my dad up. I was like, yo, don't do nothing Saturday. We're gonna go see Journey. <sighs> Hype. I was hype, yeah. man, because I'm a big fan. Well, how was that like when you told him? Uh, I mean, well, when I first told him, like, I asked him for, I was like, yo, you trying to see Journey? He's like, yeah, yeah. He was drunk. <laughs> it was at one of the parties. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I didn't think he'd remember. So then the next day, I told him, I said, yo, I'm going to find out by Saturday morning if we're going or not. Don't, like, have anything planned. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, cool. So I, I got the tickets two days before, and I told him. And he was like, yup. That's all he said in the text. Yup. Like that. And I was like, okay. I mean, he don't really, he don't really text like that anyway. So right. I can't imagine what, how he's really feeling. <laughs> yeah. So I tell him, <laughs> we're going to go see Journey. It's his first time seeing Journey. And uh, the plan was we're going to leave the house at 530, get there like an hour and a half before in pregame. Mm -hmm. I was going to have two talk hands for us and then two shots of whatever. Mm -hmm. And this dude... <laughs> This dude's out with my mom. They went to like some meeting. Mm -hmm. My mom, it was going over, but my mom was actually on time. They were going to come pick me up so he, she could drop us off so we got to pay the parking fees. Man, this fool, shouts to him, man. He's always trying to be good for people, do good deeds. But someone asked him if he could take him to the airport, so he took him to the airport. Uh. <laughs> so we're running late, and this fool, he's like, yo, I couldn't get you right now, and then we'll go pick up mom. And we were doing a lot of rigmarole just to get to the show. sound like it. <laughs> So when he comes over to pick pick me up, it's not even his car. Yeah, he was in a truck. He's in somebody else's car. <laughs> what? And I was like, why are you using this car? I was like, yeah, the person that asked me to drive him off the airport, they said I could use their car. I was like, what? Bro, this so guy they, is a side quest pro. Yeah, yeah bro. <laughs> the side Yo, quest pro. Bro. Side quest pro. So he picks me up. I get the shots. I get the drinks. We roll up. We pick up my mom. And we're, we're still on time. Yeah. And so my mom drives. She, well, my mom gets out. She's excited to take us. She's like, you ready to drive? I'm like, nah, you driving. We're drinking. <laughs> yeah. So me and my dad drink in the back. 
and we're like, this is shouldn't do this, but we popped over to Tall Can and we were taking shots, yeah. drinking. Before we got to the show, bro, we were lit. Yeah, good. Did she not care to go or? Nah, I just I wanted to get four tickets, but I would have. I, I I needed a plug for that. I like. Yeah. You know, but because the tax and fees is like the ta- yeah double. Each, each ticket was like one something after Crazy. the fact. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it would have been like a easy like a five hundred dollar thing if I had all f- four. Right. I was like, nah, I, I can't fuck with y'all like that. <laughs> but um, yeah. So she dropped us off. Anyway, long story short, we're at the show. Toto. They've opened up. They sing Africa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah that, that was dope. Tight. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Dun, 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 Bro, that's dun, all I was playing dun, in Philippines. Dun, dun, yeah. Dun, 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 and it, dun, 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 they still get, had yeah. it. Def Leppard actually was is opening up for them too, but they're doing like a, a the East leg. Coast or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, different uh, leg. Okay. And so Damn, that's tight. So to, Toto is on, and um, my dad's like, I need to charge my phone. Cause that joint is on red, bro. Like ten percent. This is my this is my old phone. It was like the iPhone XR, and I I, I swear on anything that only had like four or five hours of battery life before it hit like twenty percent. What happened to his other phone? I don't know. No, he just threw it away. Yeah, he should. Or he gave it to somebody. I don't know what he probably did. gave it to somebody. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, but this dude, so it's it's on red. It's like ten percent left. So he's like, "Yo, it's cool. Like I'm here for journey." So we go to the 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 voyeur whatever it's called, the lobby, and he's charging his phone, and I was like, watch this. You want a beer? I was like, for sure. So he go, he walks all the way around to find this, like, beer joint. Like a specific a beer specific spot? beer joint, and he comes all the way back because he can't ask me. He's like, yo, they got IPAs. You want an IPA? Oh, man. Yeah, he's like, it's 8%. I was like, <laughs> I was already feeling it. Yeah. And I was like, nah, man, just give me the same, man. Give mm-hmm. me that mick that Mick Loeb. And so he goes, he's like, I'm getting the IPA, man. So he gets the IPA. <laughs> he brings me back to Mick Loeb. It's to- Toto's still gone. So he's like, all right, we're going to rock with it. Cool. And then they get off and he's looking at the, it, I love rock shows for one because they're always on time. Yeah. Yeah. You could predict when you need to go use yeah. a bathroom, all this shit, you could predict everything. So there's 20 minutes before the next set. And then my dad's like, they're going to start at nine. It's, it's like, it's like 20 minutes till they're not going to start randomly mm-hmm. right so the dj starts playing music five minutes before they start he gets to like 40 percent. we go back and um uh, mind you we're, we're i kind of got tickets all the way in the back but you can still kind of see it's, it's pretty dope it's playing the journey comes on we're having a good time bro not even five ten minutes later <laughs> this dude is like i'm gonna go use the bathroom oh man yeah so oh, I'm like, all right, you know, he go, he uses the bathroom again and I don't see him for about 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm like, this dude is doing something he's not supposed to be doing. It sounds like he's like out there wheeling and dealing. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Probably, bro. This dude, bro, sends me a fucking like four pictures, like 20 minutes later, selfies of him, like closer, closer to, to the, the stage, stage. <laughs> halfway oh, to the stage. So- and he's like, yo, bring me my beer. I'm like, I'm not leaving. No. I don't even know where you're at. Bro, that's what he was telling me. He was like, yo. I was like, because oh, I was asking him how's yeah. the show. And he's like, he's like, yeah, I went up to the front, bro. They weren't checking me. Yeah. They he were, said, yeah, he yeah, said yeah. me and all the Filipinos were led up to the front. I was yeah. like, oh, let's go. Bro, so he gets closer and closer and closer yeah. to the point where he's in the first row to the side, all the way he to the did. side. The first row, like he's yeah. right there. Hell yeah! And he's like, man, he's uh, he tells me, I didn't I didn't respond. I'm like I'm not responding to that because because he's like because the way he told me he was like he's like lower level to the right. Yeah, that's all he said. I'm <laughs> like I'm not searching for this. No, dude. no, like two twelve. <laughs> yeah, E row. You know, yeah, like, like none of that. It's just it's just lower level to the right. <laughs> I'm like, bro what? isn't like crowd surfing distance yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what does that mean so yeah. anyway i'm not gonna leave because journey they're hitting bangers like back to yeah. back to mm-hmm. back bro so i'm i'm chilling man and rock shows ain't nobody standing up yeah everyone's yeah. like 69 and older they're yeah. all retired yeah. yeah so i'm just chilling bro like got my drink in my hand enjoying the music arnell's fucking killing it i'm looking at my guy like yo the fucking karaoke king is right here with us bro yeah and i say that respectfully because like he's a great singer mm-hmm. but yeah. when i seen a filipino dude as the lead singer of journey just reminds me of every filipino dude's dream yeah <laughs> is to be the lead singer of journey bro yeah, 
<laughs> because bro. everybody Facts. knows the songs word for word. Yeah. They sing it at every karaoke party. Yep. And this dude is living the dream, literally. Yeah. yeah. Every Filipino dude with a guitar is like a, a journey cover band. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm just watching this dude like, man, he did it. Man. Like, yeah. And he's from the Philippines, like literally from the Philippines. Like, yeah. His first, like, I don't even know if he, he, he probably stole a visa. Like, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> were you telling me that he uh, got found on YouTube? Yeah, yeah he got found bro. How does that? <laughs> man, so he uh he had like a, a editor, a shredder. Yeah, and uh he would go to the the internet cafes, and he said he would spend like eight hours there, and uh, just upload just his videos. Oh, uploading. Yeah, he uploaded like sixty of the videos of him, and he just you know they're just doing that. That was it. Yeah. Like we're gonna try to get this is old YouTube, old YouTube, old yeah. YouTube. And uh, the lead guitarist of uh Journey, Neil Schoen. They were looking for a, a new lead singer. They they still wanted to go on tour and stuff, but they couldn't find nobody. They did like a, they were going city to city doing auditions, and this dude was about to give up. And he went online and he was just in the depths of like, bro, th- of YouTube page fifty. Yeah, page fifty, and he ran across Arnell singing one of the one of the Journey songs, and he said he sounded just like Steve Perry, Woo-hoo. and he had he had the long hair, and not only was the sound, it was the performance. Yeah. The soul. The yeah. soul. The feeling. The bro. feeling. So he said he um he called his manager right away, said, Yo, check this dude out. I found him. And I'm going to the Philippines tomorrow Damn. to find this guy. Mm. Found the dude. He, he well, first he emailed the guy that uploaded the YouTubes because he put his email on the description. And he was like, Yo, I'm the real this is real. Yeah. Uh, I'm the lead dude from Journey. We want to we want Arnell to try out for us. Yeah. They didn't believe it. And Ar- the dude told Arnell, and Arnell's like, man, just it, it feels right. So just reply back. Mm-hmm. It doesn't feel like a scam. So, bro, they thought it was a scam. That's yeah, crazy. He thought it was a scam. And he came <laughs> well, through. Because that's so unbelievable. It's, it is. <laughs> it is. It is un- unbelievable. And uh, I, I was going to say something there, but I don't, it's, I'm not going to say it because it's too, everyone's going to know what, you know what I mean? Like, the pun is, I don't want to say the joke. You might as well just say it. No, yeah, I, like I don't say know it. what it is. But it, it all it, 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 it's a song that they sing. I don't want to say it. Oh, um, okay. yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's kind of yeah, yeah. 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 it's too easy. It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy. Yeah. It's too easy. I, I get it. So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Long story short, he went to watch him perform, and he invited him out to to San Francisco. They got the lawyers on it. They got the visas. He flew out. He did a whole week with him. He recorded like five songs with him, and uh. They they signed him as soon as Damn, he left. Bro. Yeah, sixteen years he's bro. been the lead singer. Of Journey. Man, sixteen years. Sixteen years, man. Mount man. Rushmore of Filipinos is Arnell. Arnell. <laughs> Manny, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao. Efren Reyes. Efren Reyes. I was just Apuriat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it might. It could be shaky. I don't know if we claim Bruno. He has a gambling problem. I don't know if I want to, <laughs> but that's so Filipino. You can't I know. even like. You it's can't fire. Even, yeah, <laughs> I love Bruno, man. <laughs> the most, that's the most like Filipino thing ever. How much bro. Filipino does he have? Y'all know. I think it's half. half. I think he's Puerto Rican and Filipino. Yeah, like his mom is full Filipino, I think, but like Hawaiian Filipino. Yeah, yeah, out of Hawaii. Yeah, but so I don't. Yeah, I don't know who else could fill in that spot. Yeah. Maybe a, like. Jordan Clarkson or some some I mean there's there's a lot we we could choose now but yeah. anytime there's like a Filipino dude that's like up there bro I could give him all the praise man oh, yeah. it's it's yeah. tough for us to get any kind of shine man yeah, yeah he is fifty fifty by the way Dang. yeah that's sick I didn't know that I thought he yeah. was like quarter nah he's he's one of those yeah but we still got her 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 mm-hmm. oh yeah I still her. claim Jay Z what what. <laughs> Dude, there, was a, what? there was a rumor a long Yo. time ago that Jay Z was like a quarter Filipino from like his mom's side or something. I don't know. And, about and then that. ever since he had like a bar about but the Filipinos in essays. Yeah. <laughs> so then the the Filipino detectives were just like, "Yo, is Jay Z one of us?" And uh, ever since then, I'm like, "All right, I claim him." They're like looking at his nose. Yeah. They're like, "He gotta be." Yeah, they got like side by sides. Like, uh, yeah. I don't see nothing on that. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's crazy. Got to be fake. <laughs> but yeah, man, my dad, my dad ditched me, and he watched the show up front, man. That's tight, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's tight. I can't even be mad, yo. That's the, your favorite band. The funny thing is, is, is 
more Filipinos doing the same thing he's yeah. doing, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, he found an open seat and sat right in it, bro. And didn't bro said, "Bring me my beer." <laughs> yeah, that's the crazy part, bro. Bring me my beer. I was like, "No, <laughs> no, man. I don't even know you're at. I'm not gonna spend like 20 minutes looking for you, bro. Listening to the song, like go in and out of the freaking yeah, tunnels yeah, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, man. I'm good. That's funny. Yeah, oh, so, that's a fun time. So shouts to Journey. I really wanted to bring all y'all, man. Like, uh. Damn, I even asked Wiz. I was like, "Yo, yeah. you think your dad might want to go?" Yeah. yeah, I was looking at tickets too, but yeah. I I looked the night after you got yours, and I was like, "Ah, oh, it it went back up to like one ten, so it would have been like and a buck sixty. You know what's crazy too is the tickets, man. It was like they were either singles or doubles, because I wanted oh, yeah. to see if I could find like a row of eight or something. Yeah, so, but the rows were like uh, yeah. more expensive, I think. So Steve Perry was was performing as well too, right? Nah, he nah. hadn't performed in about third. Like I think he's like chilling. I thought he was there. Thirty years. Nah, nah I think oh, he's I'm like tripping. big chilling. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. My bad. Nah, he what, what, did. Did he just stop because he was just like I'm? I'm cool. Yeah. yeah, I think I think he was just he just didn't want to perform anymore. Yeah, yeah. It gets tiring. Yeah, I mean he was doing it since the seventies. Yeah, you might as well give that job to somebody that wants it. Yeah, he did twenty years, but I think they had like a their their falling out wasn't bad. I don't think so. There no. was mad respect behind it. That's cool. Yeah, because they, they obviously they they did the splits right. They did all their splits with the writing right. So they're like, yeah. it's cool, man. Like, yeah, like y'all can still perform the songs. I'll still get paid. I don't want y'all to not get paid if I say no to performing them. Like, right. Everyone. And the dope part too is Arnell is a one fifth member, mm -hmm. so they pay him one fifth. Tight. Yeah, they don't yeah. they don't treat him like yo because you didn't write any of these songs. You only get a performance like fee. A, oh, okay. Yeah, they're giving him one fifth of of all the performances plus. Any uh the remastered album they did and any the new that. albums that he wrote with them. Mm. Yeah. What do so. you guys think that their jokes are like? I feel like the jokes is what's keeping them together. That's why they're like so like mature and respectful to I you, wonder to what their other. jokes are like. Cause like looking the, at them on screen, like or I guess like via Merz's phone. Yeah. They look like they're just like just rock stars. I don't even mm. know how rock stars make jokes. Now, <laughs> uh, I've seen a, a couple documentaries. They're they're in the beginning, they're really supportive of them. Like, you know, just because it's it's hard to go on tour in your first year of your favorite band. Yeah, You're the lead course. singer now. Yeah, so they're being real supportive. Um, and probably now it's just, it's jokes. I think it's just, uh, they're <laughs> old, man. It's probably old jokes. Probably. Like dad jokes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, I wonder if they even do anything after a show. <sighs> go play they probably just They probably just go straight to sleep. Probably, yeah. man. Yeah. Get ready for the next next city, yeah, man. Because traveling's already tiring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of these dudes are like 60 years old. Bruh. Yeah, like their kids are getting married to other band members from other, other bands, like from <laughs> back in that time. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you think that they'll just keep replacing members and like the band will just like live on type of thing? They they have. Like the drummer isn't the same drummer. Oh, okay. It's, it's switched plenty of times. There's only three original members. Yeah. Still, yeah. It's out like of, the Jabberwockies. Oh yeah, and we never know who they are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But the music sounds good, man. Oh it's yeah. It's like I was just like, man, this sounds this sounds so good. You, you could tell this is them. It, it, this ain't no cover band, even yeah. though Arnell. It's it feels like it because you got a Filipino dude. In the front. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like I'm on a cruise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this cruise is lit. This cruise is lit. Man. Oh man, if they did have that at the cruise, we would have. We probably all would have got up and started moshing. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, it was cool, man. And uh, to be real, if y'all down, the next time there's like another big rock band coming. I'm down to I take all down, our dads, bro. I was going to suggest Toto, but damn, they opened up for Journey. Yeah, That's that so sick. Fire. Yeah, dude, that was sick when they came out. And I think Did you know it was going to happen? I didn't know until after. Wow. I bought the tickets. I did some research. No, y'all wonder who's opening. Yeah, who's opening, yeah. Even Def Leppard as an opener is kind of crazy, too. Sick, bro. Yeah, it's huh? any of those, man. They can say anything. But I'm I'm down, bro, because a lot of these dudes, this is it, man. In about five, ten years, yeah. we're not going to see them no more yeah. at all. Yeah, you got a good point. Yeah, they're all our parents' age. Yeah, so, and I like the music too. We yeah, all like we sick. all like the music. Yeah, hell yeah, dude! I didn't know how many. I, obviously, I listen to Journey's music, but even some of their newer albums, I was like, damn, they're really going. Like, this is like the thirteenth song, and it's <laughs> I still know it. They're still going. When people are like, oh, they don't make music like they used to, bro. They just dropped another album. They like, did. They just Pete. dropped another album. <laughs> yeah, it's. Of course, it's not gonna be the same. You want you want my old yeah. albums? Buy my old albums, yeah. man. 
When when did they play the song? Third. What? Wow, that's pretty right early. Away? They played it third. Yeah. Man, for some reason, I feel like it'd be close to the end. And it was like, dun, 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 you know, they played the yeah. keys and dun, 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 and I was like, it was like uh-oh. a huge lead up. Nah, man, oh, it, it was like at the, it, it was the intro song. Um, and then they played like one of their bangers second. I can't remember what it was. And then they went right to it. Sick. And everyone was like going ham. They ended it with my favorite songs. They ended it with um, Open Arms and then Faithfully. <laughs> and then they came back and encored like two other songs. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. They're like, this dude Arnell runs around the entire stadium. He jumps off the stage. Security's following him. He's just running around the entire stadium. That's Sick. tight. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking That's every- tight. This dude's fit was crazy. He came out in a pink suit. Yeah. yeah he like, looked- the, like the pink panther. Yeah. He looks younger. Yeah. He does. He looks way he has younger. Like, he uh, got blonde he has, like, hair, hair. Yeah. And then he uh, took off his, his sports coat and he had on like a white t-shirt and like a pink vest. Bruh. And then he like left for a little bit, came back. He still had his pink pants, but he had on a green and black Gucci sweater. Damn. That shit was hella oh, Filipino. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then he took that off and just rocked with a white tee for the rest of the show. Bro, yeah. he's living it, bro. Yeah, man. I'm telling that's you. Crazy. This dude, and he had like sparkling ass shoes. Yeah, that's oh, that real man. rock star shit, like hair yeah. metal era. Yeah, seriously, man. That dude was getting it, man. So That's tight. You know what I want to see? Huh. I want to get like 100 Filipinos and just put them in a the choir. And I'm gonna just tell them to sing like journey songs. Yeah. Make like choir music journey songs. Oh yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy because when the song played, man. The song. The song. The he's song. just like, he just did this to the mic. <laughs> yeah. Just a small town girl. Oh, like letting them sing. Yeah, it? and the whole crowd is just singing. This is how it sounded like. You might gotta run that song twice, like back to back. I thought they're gonna <laughs> run it at the end again, like. Yeah. On some Kanye yeah. and 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 Jay Z shit. You just running the same song over yeah. and over again. I wouldn't mind. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if I heard it in the beginning and the end. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind either, man. Yeah. Because, like, cause like, you hear in the beginning, you might, like, not remember the lyrics. Yeah. But you hear at the end, you remember everything. You kind of, like, warmed up to it, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Nah, it was it was fire, man. I'm down. To, if they if they come back, which I don't see why they shouldn't. If they yeah. come back, I'm down to go again. Yeah, I feel like I they tour a lot, right? Yeah. But this is yeah. supposed to be their last one. See, that that's what makes me upset. I didn't know it was the last one. It's supposed to be their last one. Damn, man. Yeah. It's like Outcast. Yeah. Was, well, yeah. Was, well, they yeah. still had that, that reunion, but I feel you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we also saw uh, over this past week our older cousins from yeah. the East Coast came yeah. through. Yeah. yeah. Shouts to shouts to uh, Punkin and Chin and our cousin Atimaya. She came from uh, T-Mech. T-Mech. Uh-huh. And uh, we were kicking it, bro. It's so fun when it's all of us, even though Wiz wasn't here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like. It's, we can never get everyone at once. It's hard. Yeah. But this is probably the closest besides grandma's funeral where everyone was yeah. here. Man, it's so fun, dude. Because like, I, was, I think I was telling Wiz this um, but off camera, but I was like, man, it's it's like really tight. Like having, for me at least, because like I have relationships with everybody. Mm-hmm. So You're in the middle. I'm right in the middle, man. Yeah. It's so fun because I could dip off and kick it with y'all and run some crazy ass joke and then yeah. run off kick it with them and repeat yeah, but, the joke but yeah. we're all together though that's the crazy yeah. thing yeah like, we all got even, the same humor which exactly, is exactly yeah because i'm like one of the youngest yeah but i'm still kicking it with Dr. pumpkin yeah like i'm still making jokes with her yeah so yeah it's just, it's just a fun time man and uh i feel like if if she like moved here all the time like it doesn't it wouldn't take away that feeling of oh we don't see you that much it would still be fun whenever we all hang out you know yeah. what i mean yeah Cause uh, I don't know we we played bingo yo we played bingo oh man <laughs> with Aunt, Auntie Vivian too what and, and Jeff and my brother yeah we got a winner over here yes sir <laughs> first yeah, time winner. winner hell yeah how much hundred bucks yes sir bro, <laughs> finally bro when he when you hit when he yelled that bingo he had to hit the silent celebration yeah. <laughs> but when I said bingo though I bro. said that shit is so crazy. <laughs> I was like, bingo! Yeah. <laughs> there was a dude that did that. Like, remember that? It's crazy. It was so loud, it scared me. It's no, crazy because like, it's like, as soon as I stamp, I, I said it at the same time. Yeah. It's crazy because when you have one left, yeah. you know which one you need. Yeah. yeah. So once they start with the letter B, yeah. Yeah. And they're like, 
13. Big <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I got that, bro. That's me. Yeah. And no one else better say nothing because I'm not trying to share it with you. Yeah. It, it's funny thing, too, is if you look at the my last stamp, it's so, it's like, it's, <laughs> it's so like, big. Bro, it's splattered. splattered. <laughs> Hell yeah, I dude! Fucking jam that shit, bro. Hell yeah, dude! It was tight. so sick. Yeah, uh, the uh, there was other people like, of course, like other strangers like playing, but and it was funny whenever they would like yell out like a fake bingo. Yeah, like they had the fake news on them, like thinking <laughs> they had it, but like, bro, get out of here. Yeah, I always <laughs> feel that way. Every time someone got a fake bingo, I'm like, get this dude out of here, Yo, this yeah, lying yeah. ass, like, <laughs> yeah, get her out of here, yeah. trip. He's trying to steal. Him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm always like, when I hear the bingo, I'm always like, fuck. Oh God. yeah, Dang, the man. the gasp after someone calls it and everyone's like, "Fuck, yeah, already?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yo, somebody got in ten. Yeah, bro, that someone was got insane. In 10 calls. What? They got bingo in ten call numbers, and it was it was it was verified. I was like, "Oh man. hell!" I was like, "This got to be a record." Yeah, there were people there that had like a hundred things, and they're just like going through this. That's too much, man. Yeah, it's that would too make much. my brain hurt. It's, at that point, it's not fun. Like I'm trying to yeah. win. Like if I don't win, I'm gonna be even more pissed. Oh yeah, like I probably spent like hundred bucks. I got hella yeah. cards. Yeah, hella cards, bro. But Jay had the illest joke of the night, man. Oh god, what was it? Tell it. The illest joke oh, of the night. Oh, I think bro. I know what it is. I, I can't even. I don't remember the setup. The setup was a long. It was a long play. Yeah, I don't know. Like you guys were talking about <laughs> pajamas. Pajamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some crazy. Oh yeah, we, we just went it back to when I was a kid or something, and she just mentioned how I had my like my striped pajamas. Yeah, yeah, and then um, I said something about uh something about I think I was mad skinny or something like that back then, and then I just made the joke like, yeah, my mom used to call me Auschwitz like that, like say this respectfully, <laughs> and then Jay, like we're all laughing, and then Jay goes, striped pajamas are anti-Semitic. <laughs> and I was yeah. like, man, I couldn't stop laughing after that. I was like, dude, that is the truest thing in the world, bro. I'm never buying striped pajamas again, man. And some jokes are definitely funnier when you have to be quiet. Yeah. In a library. Also, oh, you did it at bingo. At bingo. Oh so like my it's God. just it's just them sitting in front of me like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, it was so funny, man. Not the not me saying the thing, but Jay saying that striped pajamas are anti-Semitic. That yeah. shit was funny. Man. So if, I don't know if the if the joke hit the same, but like, yeah, it was definitely in the moment. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably yeah. get canceled, <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. Man, like laughing when you got to be quiet is crazy. Because I remember so one. Funny. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if you remember, but it was like one of grandma's prayers we were doing. It was at Aunt Viv's house. Mm -hmm. And my dad was just like, the, like something was going on on the screen, right? And my mom was controlling like the. The yeah. slideshow and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, And my yeah. dad was like, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. Yeah. Like, <laughs> more. And all it takes, but he said more like a bunch of times, and all it yeah. takes is someone going like. <laughs> nah, nah, what was funny, <laughs> what was funny during the prayers, because we had like a bunch of people like zoomed in yeah. to that, like just random people. <laughs> and there was this one person we saw who, <laughs> <laughs> respectfully, his eyes was like this. Like one was to the left, the other one was to the right, and he was front and center <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> and then like my mom at the end of the prayers wants to get pictures of everybody, so she's screenshotting like every single page. So when that came on, we were just like <laughs> good thing we had to smile for the picture. Yeah. But we were fucking like, like silent yeah. laughing. Was I was silent laughing, man. Yeah. I was like dead for like ten minutes. I was like, you guys are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm laughing. <laughs> Look, man, anyone can get it. It's comedy. Yeah, man. It's comedy. This anyone is a comedy show. We're we're not a our podcast isn't supposed to be serious, bro. Yeah, man. It's a it's a comedy. It started off that way. Yeah. The first episode is Gentrify All Bombs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I keep bringing all, it up. Does I was gentrify a part of the, all bums even make sense? It's just I don't funny. know. I don't it know. It doesn't make any sense. I don't know, man. But <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone agrees, though. <laughs> gentrify all bums it doesn't make sense, but everyone agrees. We're just helping them. Yeah, we're just helping them. All right, we got a new segment for the show. Yeah. We created this since Wiz isn't here. Hope he's having fun in Hawaii. Sorry yeah. for the measles. <laughs> uh, it's called Survey Says. Let's get it. And I know everyone listening to this is familiar with the format of strongly agree. What is it? Strongly agree. Yeah. Did uh, and then to agree, neutral. neutral. Yeah. Disagree. Then strongly, strongly disagree. disagree. Yeah. 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 
So we created some takes. We're going to try to use that format for these takes and go from there. Yeah. First up, Wingstop is bad for you. Neutral. <laughs> that's not what you said earlier. <laughs> No, I've been thinking about it. I said, when I say strongly disagree, that's what I said. That's what Do you I feel said. differently now? Yeah, I'm just going to stay on the neutral side because <laughs> it, technically it is bad for you if you eat a lot of anything you eat a lot of is actually bad for yeah. you. And then, but mentally it's good for you. So actually, if you if you don't if you I I disagree. Okay. I disagree. <laughs> just don't eat too much of yeah. it. It's not it's not bad for you. Yeah. Unless you overdo it. Okay. Yeah. I think I, I'm in the neutral side because okay, yeah, too much of it, it could kill you. Too little of it could kill you also because you're just depressed, man. You want wing stop so bad. You're just like killing yourself inside. So you don't need some wing. I wish I had you know given my take or my agreement status before you got hearing you yeah. guys. Cause now I just went from agree to neutral, probably going to disagree now. Why? Mm. Because like you said, if you have it, you might die. But if you don't have it, you might, you die, might too. die too. Yeah, you yeah and then you, it, yeah, it's not like you could have some when you're dead. You gotta feed yeah, the exactly. soul as you feed your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you don't feed your soul, you're not feeding your body, which means you could die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You're not happy. So Wingstop is good for you. Wingstop, Wingstop is good for you. Is good yeah. for you. Yeah. Wingstop just is good flipped for you. Yeah. Bro, I started Wingstop off being like good. ready to say that shit was strongly agreed. <laughs> <laughs> This dude came in with a with the with the health uh health inspector in his pocket. <laughs> He's ready for it. You guys it. just bribed yeah. the health inspector. I will say though, it also depends on the location. Yeah, I wish that yeah, wasn't true. the case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know how like you go to McDonald's anywhere in the world. Yeah. That shit tastes consistent. Yeah. So uh -huh. good on them. But sometimes the wing stop, yeah, that's nearest to you. Yep. Don't hit the, like the others. Mm -hmm. You know why? That's that's just a testament to the to Knowing that Wingstop, they make their food fresh. Oh, yeah. It, it's not just already in a bag and you just warm it up. Mm -hmm. They have to actually cook the, the chicken and they get the chicken every like two or three hours. Mm -hmm. That's why you ever go to Wingstop, you see the back open with the truck. They're dropping off more wings. True. And they have to season it themselves. Mm -hmm. They have to cook it themselves. They got to put sauce the sauce themselves. Yep, yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. And I will say, maybe it's hard to cook with uh without your bias in it but i do remember like when i had to make pizza i'll be like oh you want a pepperoni this is how i like pepperoni so i'll make it to yeah how i like it yeah exactly so maybe mm -hmm. that's that's why you pull up to the wing stop and you're like man this is under season yeah it's true Ugh. that's true i hate i that. hate when I that wanna, happens man i want to throw up every time i hear under season wing uh, stop under makes me want makes me want to yeah. throw up and flip at all the tables I like, you know also no you know what I don't like I don't like over sauced yeah yeah I don't like over sauced because then it's like sitting in there dripping yeah soggy yeah yeah I agree with you I do hate when I order lemon pepper and when I get my lemon pepper wings it's plain yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. Like, this is not oh enough. my god like, yeah, you bro. should be able to see the zest hey yo and yeah. the pepper <laughs> <laughs> see the zest and she came out like this. <laughs> <laughs> chicken wing <laughs> zesty ass chicken man. okay next take all right allergies could be fixed with exposure therapy man for for me experience wise i'm a strongly disagree i'm a i'm a dis i don't know i'm a disagree because I, my my peanut allergy I'm not going to just keep eating it, exposing myself to it, and just feeling bad all the time. Yeah. Hell no, nah, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, and we just went through a whole week of visiting a, a, a house that had a cat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you guys were both, like, sneezed up. Yeah, I was. Yeah. It, it got, you get to a point where you just start dying. Yeah. I think exposure therapy could probably work, but only to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. I think there's two things for it to work. One, you got to be around it 24-7. So it has to live with you. You can't like dip away from it and come back and dip away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to be around it 24 seven. And two, you got to be willing to be like in your worst for like at least a month straight. Oh yeah. In the trenches. Mm -hmm. In the trenches. Maybe there's something about like something like a cat or dog, mm -hmm. an animal uh, allergy versus like a food one. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah kind of like All right, different so scales. Here's my experience with pets. We're going to talk about pets. Every time I ate bad, 
I always felt the allergies even more. Every time I ate good, I feel like my exposure to pets was like, or like every time I had a pet around, I did way better. Mm, okay. So uh, I feel like I feel like diet plays a big role in like how your allergies like affect you. That's a even yeah. Yeah. crazier take. I never heard that. Yeah. I might have to change my take to strongly agree. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's hear it. I might have to change it because I just actually, t- I just, today I just came back from uh, my allergy doctor, I got the test, the skin test to see what I'm allergic yeah. to. You watch a video, Joe? Yeah, you look like Dr. Ock. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> His back was bumpy. It yeah, was, it was yeah, bumpy. I, Someone I said like you look like Killmonger. Yeah. <laughs> Is that normally where they do it? I guess they did on my back, yeah. Should, you should have asked put on your chest, so you really look like Killmonger. I think it's because it's harder to scratch your back, even though I could reach yo, that. Yo, you be itching your back with plastic forks, bro. I know, I know. I want to see it later. You probably look like a Lego. <laughs> 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 Yo, it was crazy, man. That shit was bumpy, man. I like Bumpy Johnson, man. Like, so I, I took the I took the test. <laughs> hey, hey, yo, you gotta get checked, bro. Yeah, man. My bad, yo. That's next level, bro. My bad, yo. So like, <laughs> so yeah, they like my whole back was bumpy. They take they take like four different racks, and each rack has like allergens on it and they inject you with it and then you just welt up so they're like yeah you're just gonna welt this like hives it'll itch don't scratch it keep it on for 15 minutes like don't do nothing 15 minutes so i was in the freaking room with no shirt on it just like walk pacing back and forth like flexing my back like scratching it by just flexing my back you know what i mean <laughs> like just feeling that motion to kind of like ease it <laughs> and like the lady walks in, the doctor comes in after 15 minutes and she just sees me pacing back and forth and she could probably look and see my back and off top like, yeah, this dude's allergic. Bro, I'm allergic to everything they tested Bro, except you, for three things. Yeah, mm. and those, like three of those, those three things aren't even like common. They're like not. a Chinese elm. A Chinese we don't really elm. Ha- those don't grow here. Yeah, that's probably in China. <laughs> so it proves that we're Chinese because I'm not allergic to it. The other one is dust mites. I, I don't even know what that means. I think I'm allergic mm. to dust mites. And yeah. then the third is cockroaches. Well, that's good. Mm, that makes sense. I'm not allergic to, like, how do you <laughs> even become allergic to cockroaches, bro? Bro, you mm. are allergic to every type of grass. Every type of grass, yeah. every tree, except for Chinese elm, if that's a tree, <laughs> and then cats and dogs. I'm allergic to everything. So the numbers on there are like the scale, of the severity of how allergic yeah. you are? Oh, yeah. So cats was up there. Four is the is the highest. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Dang. I'm a four on cats, two on dogs. Uh, t- I'm either yeah, I'm two, three, four on everything. Mm. I'm a dweeb. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm a fucking dweeb, bro. Bro's a nerd. Yeah. So, but the reason why I say strongly agree is because the shots that they're like the they're gonna remedy up for me. They're putting all those in there. Right. Oh, like that's the goal of these. They're exposing me to these. But it's like, it's a different thing. It's like almost like a, a Im- immune thing. So they're just getting like specific, uh, I don't know, antibodies from them, putting it in my body. Kind of like that a I get vaccine in a way? Almost, yeah. So oh. I got to take uh, for the f- next six to eight months, I got to take it for a week. And then um, after that, I come back once a month for about two years mm-hmm. and get the shots. And then after that, I should be good. That's crazy. Yeah. It's like you're injecting, like, I'm, like, imagining, like, the little, like, these dudes, like, they work in your body, but they're, like, the ops, you know what I mean? They're the ops, but they're, like, helping you. Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like <laughs> hiring a thief to catch thieves. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a bunch of Batmans. Yeah. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of vigilantes yeah, like yeah, in my yeah. body yeah. just like hey, they're yo. doing they're doing the bad work yeah but <laughs> they're doing the bad work but a bunch of vigilantes in my body in my body <laughs> doing the bad work <laughs> hell yeah dude yeah man it's, <laughs> okay so yeah i agree all right I strongly agree man sick okay next <laughs> calling someone queer or atta is embarrassing strongly agree <laughs> strongly agree Strongly. strongly agree, bro. Yeah, I, I hate when y'all call me that, especially in public. I mean, I wouldn't mind being called it, but calling somebody a queer out there is kind of like, damn, man. So, what does it feel like to be called it? Does it feel like supremacy? 
Yeah. Do you feel like I feel the queer power, man? Yeah, you feel the power within you. Yeah. I don't like. But no one ever, yeah. no one ever calls me queer though. That's the crazy thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. You're the youngest. <laughs> Even, I can't even the young the youngest yeah, man yeah, yeah, they, they, still they don't, don't care yet, yeah <laughs> that's that gen z over there bro man. like they, you guys don't have to <laughs> now when i was younger it was definitely embarrassing to call my brother queer even yeah. though i still did but all i i just remember having an answer to uh other cultured people and being like no don't you see it's just what you call your older brother or cousin or whatever just to, as a sign of respect and blah blah yeah. blah and, and then someone would be like Oh, then can I call him that too? Like, Bro, no. No, no. <laughs> You're not one of us. <laughs> I remember I got so embarrassed to call people queer. I was like trying to switch it up and make it sound cooler. Yeah. Be like, hey, yo, what up, Cuyo? Cuyo. I tried to add that. Oh. Cuyo. Cuyo. <laughs> what up, Cuyo? It's Cuyo. Cuyo. <laughs> Cuyo. <laughs> It never felt right though. So I yeah, it's yeah. not. It's is yeah. It's, <laughs> like there's a there's a uh, period where me and my brother just called each other brother. Yeah. So like to get around it, but it always just came back, bro. Calling him Kuya. Yeah. It's crazy because like when 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 we're around, because we kind of stopped calling each other that to each other. Yeah. But like when we're talking to our parents about oh, yeah. us, yeah. and I hear y'all say it. Yeah. And it's, I'll be like, fuck, man. Yeah. It's so cringe, bro. Yeah, if I'm talking to my mom. Yeah. Oh, yeah, me and Kuya Marion were playing bingo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who are you going with? <laughs> ah! Yeah, when, when, when mom, when I'm like going somewhere and mom is like, where are you going with? I'm going with all the Kuyas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even got to say anything else. She yeah. knows exactly what I'm talking about. But if we're hanging out with friends, like if we're hanging out with Marcus and I address you as Kuya Marion, oh my it's God. Over. Just just throw me out. Yeah, but throw me out too. <laughs> <laughs> throw me with you. Too. I swear, sometimes we be calling Marcus Queer Marcus. You can. You can, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I guess yeah. you can. Because he's part of us. I wonder, <laughs> yeah, you can. I wonder how he would receive. You should do it next time and see yeah, how he reacts. No, yeah. I swear somebody did it. I don't know who it was. It's probably Wiz. I feel like Wiz would do that. Probably. Let me know when you do it. That way I'm going to watch you know, him at yeah. the time. Yeah. And I'll probably watch his like muscles inflate. Yeah. I no, he I would did. definitely like, he would grow. Because this, I mean, pause, but he yeah. would. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo <laughs> You just said his muscle will inflate Yeah what are you talking about it's He would thing. grow He would grow <laughs> man <laughs> But Yeah if you, if you Like If you call him that I'm gonna see him Go like hold on Yeah Like Yeah I heard that Yeah Yeah You know who I do call Kuya That's who? not even like Part of us But he's a part of us somehow Who Goose, oh uh, yeah, I be calling Kuya yeah. Goose sometimes. Oh, I don't man, hear that, yeah. man. Especially in Miami, he was he was yeah. on some Chef Kuya shit yeah. for sure. Chef Kuya, yeah, Chef Kuya R D, bro. <laughs> Chef Kuya R D, nah, bro. he was he was cooking everything. Yeah, man. Yeah, he taught my mom how to make garlic rice inside the cooker. I see. So you were just yeah. respecting the chef the chef level so much. Yeah, you everything. had to hit him with another respect level oh yeah. bro it was the respect level was crazy man like it, it was like yo man this dude is he's better than us yeah <laughs> like, he, he did us better than we do it yeah it he was, was like crazy. a super saiian bro he like, made filipino queer. breakfast for all of us oh hell yeah, yeah. you guys suck what the heck <laughs> bro i'm <laughs> telling you bro it was yeah. crazy i was like what the fuck <laughs> like what was he making like tocino bro if he if it was there he would have made it but he yeah. definitely did the spam the egg, the garlic rice. Yeah. I want to say there was some longanisa, but I could be wrong. I, yeah, but no, we did Vienna have steak. Sausage. Oh, Vienna sausage, yeah. the steak, bro. Damn steak, yeah. I don't know what it is. I don't know if you guys tried, but I can't make the garlic rice. I could do garlic rice. He does it with real garlic, though. Oh, Actually, what do you yeah, do? Yeah, yeah. I use the garlic powder. Yeah, I use garlic powder too, but I don't know. Mom just makes it good. She I've tried it either good. way and I can't nail it. Yeah, it okay. It's always weird. Dude, yeah. if my dad cooks like Tocino or Longanisa. Oh, the garlic rice coming out. Oh my God. Or the oh rice God. that's cooked in the that's, leftover I love that. marinade. Yeah, that's, the, that's what my mom does. Bruh. She cooks it inside the, the extra shit in the pan. Oh my God. Oh my yeah. gosh. It's that, such a genius idea. Yeah, yeah, it's so good. It's uh, like caramelized rice. Yeah. Oh my yeah. Goose be using real garlic and then he throws yeah. it. He like chops it up, throws that and some butter in in the rice cooker, and then cooks it. Yeah. Oh. Is that how you do the whole it? thing just automatically is yeah. garlicked up. 
I got to experiment with doing shit like that more, like throwing shit in the rice yeah. cooker mm-hmm. with it. Because every time I hear about it, I'm like, oh, it, I always felt like you could only do water. Yeah. I don't know when yeah. he does it. I don't know when he throws it in, but he just, he'd show my mom. My mom that's how my mom does it now. Dang. Yeah. She calls it the <laughs> a la goose. The a la goose. Yeah, the, the garlic rice a la goose. Oh, damn. Yeah. The goose. official French cuisine to it. Yeah. I was like. Man, that's tight. It's good, man. I don't <laughs> mind that shit, bro. I don't mind that shit, man. Yeah, I don't know how much time we have, so we got uh, another one. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. We've been doing a lot of flying lately, all yeah. of us, lately and futurely. Airports are simple to use. <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Strongly agree. I'm going to agree. I'm not going to say strongly. There's some tough ones, but agree. I'm going to have to go uh, just a regular disagree. I think I'm also going to go regular disagree, bro. Yeah. I know you're like TSA pre-check and everything, yeah. but some airports are way too complicated. Like you got, yeah. like imagine our airport, right? Yeah. The take, having to take the tram and like go to another part of it. If you don't speak English or anything like that, you might just get yeah. lost off rip, bro. You're just trying to go to LA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to go to LA, man. How do I get there? <laughs> I can speak, but I can't read none of this, bro. Yeah. Like. It, some airports are just make it way too complicated. I feel you, man. Like uh, when we landed in Japan for the first time, well, well, y'all oh, yeah. been there like twice, three times already. But when I went with y'all, well, you grew up there. But when I went with y'all, as soon as we landed and we hopped off the plane, I was like, now yeah, what? I'm giving up. I'm just, I'm going to just follow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like, yeah, I guess that's to a test. Like if you land somewhere in another language, you like, you're like, damn, this is way too complicated. But mm-hmm. you know, like the time we landed in at John Wayne, yeah, like that airport was hella simple to go through. Yeah, it's really yeah. easy. So I don't know why they couldn't just make it like a consistent like battle plan for each airport so mm-hmm. that people had like a similar experience every time. So I think all airports are, except for like some, there's some airports like Atlanta and Denver, they can get real crazy. But every airport is very, is has, you got to think about like a body. Every body has the same parts. Uh, I, okay. I see where I you're going. You okay. got legs. You got legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got arms. All you got right. a head, right? Yeah. So every airport has baggage claim. It has passenger pickup. There's gates. Obviously, there's the restaurants and food. But in terms of just airport, then they have um, the TSA joint. So and and then they got the trams to get to the gates. So all you have to do is like it's like taking the subway. You got to like read the map, and then just follow the signs. Yeah, I feel that. I feel like um, some people could get, or some states will do, like very, um, just like easy, like it's just easy to read. Yeah. But like you know, they'll, they'll be like, oh, purse or a passenger pickup right here. Yeah. Uber pickup right here. But for example, like Boston is just straight up transportation. Yeah. Oh, just all transportation. Yeah. In one spot. Just, yeah. Transportation, they do that in Miami yeah. too. They just throw it all in one spot. <clears throat> but that's that's the other part that makes it difficult it's how it's managed yeah yeah they have all these parts but if you don't manage it right that's where it can get difficult for people yeah. bro like here landing in t3 you, to go to passenger pickup or par- self park you got to go like it's not yeah. level one it's not level two it's like level 0. 0.5 yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta like <laughs> climb up a little bit. There's another. The floor is above you, but you're like in between the floor, yeah. and you gotta go. Then you go to the garage. You're on that John Travolta shit, like <laughs> yeah. You like look at her, like bro. Where are we? Yeah. Below you is the Ubers, where you may be looking for, but now you're at passenger. It's so confusing there. Yeah, yeah. and I know, like at bro, I, I know we all complain about like LAX, but that's a whole like. Five miles of just confusion. Yeah, I, it sucks. <laughs> Yo, for it's crazy. Five miles of confusion. Bro, if you I go feel there, you though, yeah, it is. And you, for for a layover, no matter how long that layover is, you're stressing if you're gonna make it to the next uh, yeah, yeah. part because that shit is crazy. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. A, so we're going. Me and Becky are going to Korea, mm-hmm. and uh, we have like our layovers in Vancouver. Nice, which is cool, right? But one, the one on the way back layover is only like an hour. And I'm kind of nervous. Back to Vancouver? Yeah, when we, we go from Korea to Vancouver. Oh. I don't know if an hour is enough time. Dude, the the thing that sucks about coming back. You got to get your bags. The, right? Oh, do you? I, I was going to say, I was going to say, because you have to go through immigration. Yeah. That's what takes longest. Yeah. So I don't know how big their their international section is. 
Yeah. But I, could, I guess that's what would be stressful. You know what you should check for? Is a lot of places I feel like now are having like that pre, like a website you fill out prior to landing somewhere so that they already have you in the system versus you like filling out the paper, and it going handing to it to them. them. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going I'm to look, I'm going to read into it more because it has, there's got to be an easier way because there's no way that they're, they're booking flights and giving international customers from Korea one hour yeah, to get real. to the next flight. So, but the good thing is with Air Canada, that's who we're flying with. Uh, we're allowed to have a carry on with us, so I think I'm just gonna we're just gonna load the carry on with us, so we don't have to put it in mm. the in the what you call the check in the check in, yeah. Because there's some places, bro, when you land, you gotta get your bag and go back to customs. Oh hell no! Nah. Yeah, like if you're flying, hell no! Nah. Yeah, what the heck, bro? If you're flying from like Mexico to like let's say Arizona and then to Vegas, mm-hmm. you get to Phoenix. You got to grab your bag, walk back in the check-in, check it back, excuse me, check it back in. Oh, yeah. And then go through I the I remember gate. this. Yeah. That or was Denver. so dumb. Yeah. Hell That's stupid. Nah. Couldn't be me, bro. Yeah. I, I think I, for like Philippines recently, I did check in my stuff rather than keeping my one carry-on. And I'm glad I did because even though it sounds easy to just have the carry-on, even being without, it feels so relieving. You're like, I don't got to worry about this shit anymore. Yeah, you yeah. just hop off the hop off the plane. Yeah, I, <laughs> I haven't felt that in a while. Like, I just yeah. have my neck pillow with me. Like, yeah. yeah. I did the biggest rigmarole when we came back from Mexico in Denver. How? Because it was like, it was Southwest we were flying, right? I think it was Southwest or it was somebody. But it was like one of those things where we were waiting in Denver for an hour and a half. And then I was like looking at another flight to come back to Vegas that left in like three hours. And then I was like, yo, let's, uh, you guys want to switch the flight? Remember this journey? I think I remember. I was like, you guys want to switch the flight so we can go <laughs> and mob in, in the city for a little bit and then okay. go home? And they're like, yeah, sure. Because we were, it was going to get back at the same time. I don't know how this was going to work, but it got back maybe 30 minute difference mm-hmm. to Vegas. And then I switched it. I went to the counter and I switched it to the three hour joint layover. And then I walked back to them and I was like, in my mind, I'm like, wait, Denver's Denver's downtown area from the airport is like a half hour, 40 minutes away. <laughs> oh my God. And I was like, that's already an hour and a half. We're only going to be there for like 30 minutes and then we got to yeah. come back, get through the line. Yeah, that the Denver airport line was crazy yeah, just was to get long. through TSA or yeah, just to get through TSA. Yeah. To and it, then I was like, you know what? I want to do that. Let's you let, switched let, it back? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. went back to the counter yeah. and I was like, yo, can we get our seats back? And she looked at me crazy, bro. This dude. Yeah, she looked at me crazy. She's like, well, I already switched it over and your bags are already... On route. In route. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. So I was like, well, I'll take it anyway because I'm not trying to stay in Denver for three hours. That fucked it up because Becky was the only one that had a check-in bag. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I had a check-in bag, too. Oh, Jerm Jer- Jer- did, too. Bag. So we waited, but somehow Becky's... um didn't come out to shoot because mm-hmm. i think her i don't know what happened i think germs was able to get on the new flight but becky's wasn't so becky had to fly she stayed uh she had one more layover to get back to california and so she stayed another night oh my God. without her bag and but it, it the, i talked to like southwest and the agents were like yeah that flight the bags are going to come in it'll be ready by the morning the, so they <coughs> she had to go pick it up or yeah, it got so delivered it we had to go pick it up so when i dropped her off she had to go to baggage claim, pick up her bag, recheck uh, it in, something like that, I and then fly that. back to LA. That, that was hella rigmarole. I remember that too. I remember I was just chilling. <laughs> and then like y'all were kind of like, were y'all arguing a little bit? Nah, it was nah. just it was just me being, being like, going, yeah, I was the only extra. one moving. Yeah, everyone else was like, all right, whatever. Yeah. Just watching you go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, bro, you're moving fast, bro. You're moving fast. I'm it's moving so too crazy. fast, bro. But yeah, man. My, my brother, as a experienced flyer, pulled uh, like I let him um, strategize like the flights. So I guess the pro move he pulled, besides like getting us on planes early because of his status or whatever, was uh getting the direct flight from korea back here mm. that way you don't have to worry about am i gonna make the u.s leg back to the city yeah so i guess that's part of the reason why we had such a long layover in, in korea mm-hmm. but we just flew straight into vegas and didn't have to stress about none of that mm. so that's fire did man. y'all do anything in korea uh our friend picked us up from the airport so we landed at like 4 a.m yeah. uh 
and I, I didn't have this. I didn't expect this guy to come pick us up that early because, bro, it's hella early on a That's Sunday. That's crazy, yeah. So we fell asleep on the benches So I, while I charged my Switch and my phone. There's, that, those were my priorities. And then he picked us up at like 6. We went over to his parents-in-law. His parents-in-law? Yeah. Uh, We ate there, and then we went to... And then we took a nap, and then we went to like a shopping area so I could get stuff for like... Jess and me, yeah, and then you take us to the airport later. It was cool. It was like spending a random day That's tight. In, so far. in Korea. Yeah, I That's can't wait like to go, man. You got, you already have a plan of what you want, what you guys want to do. Uh, we have I have a semi plan. So like, um, we're gonna f- fly into Seoul. It was cheaper, so we're gonna fly to Ichiyan, and then uh, we're gonna take the bullet train to B- uh, Busan. 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 Mm-hmm. We're gonna start there. Oh, so, sick! Yeah, we're gonna do like four days in Busan. And then we're gonna go find another city, uh, two other like cool nearby cities or mm-hmm. somewhere in, in Korea, maybe uh, Jeju. It's the yeah, island. The island. Yeah, maybe. And then we're gonna do You're like gonna fly to it, right? I think I'm so. Sure. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Either, yeah. Fly or take a ferry. Okay. But uh, <clears throat> one of the cities we're just gonna for two of the cities we're gonna do two days. So we're gonna get there half day, spend a day, and then leave. Damn. Do that, and this then we're gonna hella fun. yeah. Then we do like the last like six days in Seoul. Phew. Yeah. So yeah. like a total like. What, like eight days? Wait. Twelve. Twelve days. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yes, yeah, I can't that's wait, bro. Your, like, just your boo. That's it. Just Woo! us. Her niece is supposed to go, but she 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 couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. So uh it's gonna be so sick. We've been our Instagram is just like uh, Same spots. Spots. Yeah. Just like different joints and stuff like that. Like someone someone has a, a Busan um itinerary already mm. and the spot that we're looking at is right by one of the beaches next to the bridge so we can knock out like three of the joints in one day mm. so. oh something i learned that we didn't do when we went yeah uh when you go to a barbecue spot and no they don't in korea they don't call it korean barbecue yeah when you go to a, a barbecue spot you can lift the seat and put like your belongings in there or your your sweater if you have it yeah. so that that way you don't smell like Oh, pork belly. oh, I'm leaving everything there every yeah. time. I'm yeah. just be so full and happy. I'm gonna leave it there and have to go back. Like, yo, can you get up real quick? <laughs> He's gonna leave his checking in there, <laughs> <laughs> bro. That'd be crazy, bro. But yeah, I'm excited, man. Because uh, when we did Korea, we did we pretty much just did Seoul. And so oh, we mm. could do the Itaewon joint too. Oh, nice. This, I, I looked it up. There's still the same dudes running it. Oh, the crawl? The, bar, the car, yeah. Nice, dude. Yeah. I, it might be a little... Hopefully, the things are a little bit different since the whole Halloween incident. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. But, uh, yeah, I guess be careful in yeah. a way. But, yeah. Yeah, and also, too, like, uh, our cousin's husband, our our, our cousin, Kuya Mick, was like, oh, that's so cringe, too, saying that. Bruh. <laughs> but he was... Because uh, he's in the Navy. He mm-hmm. said the Pacific is... Uh, their, their fleets are... They're doing a lot of stuff in the Pacific. Because of uh, the Things China and Taiwan, mm-hmm. it could affect South mm-hmm. Korea. So he was like, so you, just make sure. You oh, know, like things are going to be like high alert? It could be high alert when we get there. Oh. Man, yeah, this some Jujutsu Kaisen stuff happen in Seoul? Yeah. Did you? Damn, I'm just reading it all right now. That's crazy. Wait, what happened in, what happened in Halloween? Remember There's that like, Halloween like a few years ago where it was like a, a huge stampede? I knew it was a stampede, but. It was like. Bro, like a bunch of people, yeah. unfortunately. It was, it was just too much people in one area. 159 people were killed and 196 yeah. people were injured. It was it was like yeah. pe- it was like bodies on bodies. Yeah. It's just a stampede. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was like like one dude with like two nah. samurai nah, nah, swords nah, 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 just nah, slicing. Nah, 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 nah. Nah. Okay. Well, we'll we'll be we'll be nice and fit, running, ready to go. So <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. I'm my, my running shoes, right? No, it, yeah. it sounds fun regardless. I just I that was on my mind. So no, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be on high alert regardless. Anytime I leave the country and it's, yeah. I don't have y'all like oh, like yeah. y'all have some type of Asian connection. Like I don't have no Asian connection. Are you going to do any like <laughs> studying or anything to have some Asian I'm, connection? I'm going to try. I can only come Sami down my way through like so <laughs> many times, bro. You're getting robbed. Come Sami down. <laughs> yeah, that's, all, that's all I can do. Let man. me think of some other phrases to learn. You definitely need to learn. Excuse me. Yeah probably learn how it sounds like if they're asking if you want a bag because you have to pay for a bag okay like a paper bag or whatever yeah yeah what else do you need to learn can i have this please yeah you know maybe you want to order something with off the, the point menu. yeah with yeah, the yeah, point. With the, yeah. Well, one of these okay maybe how to get the check yeah 
Probably, probably. Be solid. I'm, gonna learn, I'm gonna learn. some things. Yeah, yeah. I'm Boba. gonna learn some things for sure. You can only, you can use a Google Translate app at all. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I remember. In, I remember in Thailand, everybody was using that. Yeah, because there's a bunch of foreigners. Like, there's people from Spain who didn't speak none but Spanish, and that's how we had to talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would do the. That's that's how that's how I'm gonna do. It. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna yeah. do it. Just have it at the ready, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's every screen, be. every menu you're at, just like, all yeah. right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be ready. Yeah, I'm excited Travel for boys. you. Is that it, guys? Yeah, I think that's it for today. Yeah, man. Everyone, thanks for tuning in. If you made it this long, even without Wiz here, shout out to you. Much yeah. love. Peace, love. Come Samnida. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you next week. Next week. We'll catch everybody next week. And bonus episode. Bonus episode. Patreon.com slash Family Pod. We in there. Peace. Bye.